Now let's discuss the difference between a live connection and an extract connection. First, it's important to note that these different types of connections are not available in Tableau Public. It's always a live connection. And a live connection is where the data will update based on when the source of the data updates. So if, any, if you're connected to a database and something in the database changes, then you'll pick up those changes when you open the report as it will query that database when the report is opened. Whereas an extract connection is extracted into creates a subset of the data that improves performance. So when you're looking at it locally on your computer, you have an extract of that data set, that subset of the data, right on your computer or up in Tableau server, depending on where you're looking at it. And it does not update when the database updates. It only updates when your refresh updates it. So without a refresh set for that extract, you won't get the new data. As an example of this, let's say that in our sample superstore, we have Kelly Williams associated with the central region, but that's changed. So let's go ahead and change that. We will change it to Sarah Smith, and we'll save it. Now let's go back to our Tableau workbooks. And you can see, we can refresh it over here and see Sarah Smith come in. Over here in our extract, it, Sarah Smith doesn't come in. If we click to refresh the extract, it doesn't refresh the extract until we navigate to sheet one. But when we go back to our data source, then we see Sarah Smith coming in. So that refresh can be scheduled and it could run once a day or once every several hours but you would need to set up a refresh or else you would never get Sarah Smith's data coming in. Next, let's talk about joining data in Tableau. So here we have the people table, but let's say we want to join it to our orders information. So I'm going to start with our orders table, and then we're going to pull on people, and Tableau is going to create a join for us, and it's going to choose the column that we would like to join on, based on the names in the two data sources. So if these two data sources didn't have a column that had the same name, then Tableau wouldn't be able to guess what two to join on. So we would have to come in and select out of the order side and the people side what we'd like to join on. And then we have the options to do an inner join, a left join, a right join, and a full outer join. Let's review quickly what these look like. So say we had two tables that we wanted to join together. One of them was the student table that had the student names and the key to their grade, and which we could use to look up their grade over here in the grade table, which had the key to their grade and the actual grade, A, B, C, D, F, and incomplete. We can see here that somebody has made a mistake and put in a letter grade instead of the key to the letter grade. Um, and we'll see how that affects what we're looking at. So if we were to do an inner join, that would only take the rows where the join could complete. So we have one that could join to one just fine, but we don't have two and we don't have three. A doesn't join to anything, so this row would be not included. And then four, five, and six would all join. So that would look something like this, where we would see Adam, um, when we grab student from this table and grade from this table, we can see Adam had an A, Beverly had an A, Dale had a D, Elizabeth had an F, and Frank is incomplete. And Charles is missing. Also, you don't see any B or C in this list of grades. For a left join, it's going to take everything from the left table and only the pieces from the right table that apply to the left table. So it looks pretty similar to our inner join only Charles shows up. So the join wasn't able to complete since A doesn't exist in grade, but we include Charles anyways, and grade becomes null for Charles. It won't put in the grade key because it's, we're not asking for the grade key, we're asking for grade from the grade table. So we try to look up A inside of the grade table, we can't find it, and it returns null. We look up A inside the grade key. Perfect. Right join is like a left join, only it takes everything from the right table instead of the left table. So it 
grabs all the grades, A, B, C, D, F, and incomplete, and only the rows from the left table that join appropriately. So since Charles doesn't join appropriately, he doesn't show up. We also have B and C showing up, even though it doesn't exist in the student table, and it won't be tied to a student because that join wasn't able to complete as it didn't exist over there. And the last one is a full outer join, where it takes everything from both tables, whether or not the join is complete. So we have all of the people where the join completes. We also have Charles, where the join doesn't complete from the left to the right. And we have B and C, where the join doesn't complete from the right to the left. So those are our options in Tableau. Here, in our sample superstore data set, you could look and see if there are any regions in the orders table that don't exist in the people table. And that's how you can know what kind of join you want. And so if you want those orders to still show up even though they don't have a region, or their region is not in the people table, that's when you would do a left join. For our purposes, we'll do an inner join. Now let's say we had a second Excel sheet here that had more orders and you can do a union which is just adding more orders by dragging that second orders table right underneath the original orders table. You can see it says there drag table to union and that's helpful for if you have an Excel sheet for maybe different years so Say you had a separate Excel sheet for the orders in 2015 and then another one for the orders in 2016. You could pull on your 2015 orders and then drag your 2016 orders right there to union. And it would take these orders and then add the rows instead of the columns for the 2016 orders. Thank you for joining us today. For any questions, please visit www.simplylearn.com or post any questions below on the video. Thank you and have a great day. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.